Hello everyone and welcome to Seven Days of Jessmas. <laughs> Welcome to my Christmas vlog. So this is kind of because I love vlogmas and I love watching everyone's vlogmas. But if I were to vlog every day, you'd literally just see me at a hospital and the doctors. Like it just wouldn't be number one, very entertaining. Number two, not festive. <laughs> and number three, maybe even quite depressing because of how unwell I've been. I still got this annoying like don't know if it's cold don't know if it's a flare-up thing going on but yes so I wanted to do a Christmas vlog basically putting together the few things that I am doing that are really Christmassy and just mash them into one long Christmassy balls thing <laughs> to share with you all so that's the plan so today we are going Christmas shopping so we're going to Blue Water Shopping Centre we do this every single year um and we just kind of whack it all out in one day get it all done get everyone's presents and then i'll get on the wrapping as of tomorrow so yeah i hope you enjoy this vlog and i hope you're all having a wonderful build up to christmas <laughs> okay i will see you all soon bye look at my christmas jumper Yee! isn't it amazing this is not a flattering angle Ugh. Who's that? Mr. Grinch. We're here! We've just got to Blue Water. We've already got one gift, which is good, which is was for my mum. But I'm not going to say what anything more is okay. She watches this. Um, but yeah, it looks so pretty in here. Let me show you. Ooh, Christmas lights. Absolutely shocking, but we're in TGI's having some food because it's now seven o'clock and we are knackered. We've got like half of the shop in the garden. Yeah. So we're happy. I'll show you some of the wrapping paper we've got from Paper Chase. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do, 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 do. It's so pretty. Favourite thing of life? Boneless hot wings. Oh my god, a blue cheese dip. Yum! Mains are here. Sesame chicken for the win. Yum. I look rough as fuck. <laughs> or as someone says rough, who says that? Someone in my family always says rough as arseholes, which makes me die. I look rough as arseholes, but um, I've just woken up and don't feel great. And I'm gonna do some wrapping of presents for you. So let's get into a time lapse of wrapping presents, go.
Oh my god, lol. I just grabbed um, a Santa hat out of the box of decoration stuff. Literally just shoved it on my head and look how it's gone. <laughs> I'm a Christmas elf, what can I say? It just just comes naturally. Um, <laughs> it's too hot for that now. Too hot and bothered. Today we're going to decorate our tree. Um, I've been really fucking unwell. I don't know if I've got a really bad cold or if I'm going into another flare-up. I'm praying that it's just a really bad cold. So I've been taking loads of cold and flu medicine and throat lozenges and all that jazz. But, um, yeah, can you hear my voice is a bit annoying? Um, yeah, so I'm knackered and just ache all over and... I'm all bunged up, which is no fun, but hopefully this will cheer me up because I fucking love Christmas and I love decorating the tree. So getting into the festive spirit, my outfit is like an actual mess and nothing goes, but <laughs> I've got my fave Christmas t-shirt on. Santa's coming! <laughs> From Elf, which is one of my all-time fave Christmas films. And then I've also got these very festive leggings on, let me show you. They've got gingerbread men on the man gingerbread. Oh, let me actually, yeah, that one. They've got gingerbread men and women on and like these candy cane love hearts. There's a gingerbread man. Aren't they so cute? So... Hi. Um, so the top and the leggings are both from Primark, but last year. And then this cardigan I just love. It's like super rainbow and it's just comfy. And I know after a while I'm going to get hot and bothered decorating the tree. So I was going to put a Christmas jumper on there. I thought, nope, it's going to get too hot. So I've put a t-shirt on and I can take this off when I do get too hot. But yes, I'm very excited to decorate the tree. I can't wait to show you all my um, Disney decorations. <laughs> the first set of lights are now on the tree. There's our tree skirt, which is only because of Kitty this year. Can't let him drink the water because it's a real tree. But look at the tree. Woo! Fabulous. The lights are on. Can't see them very well because of the huge door with all the light coming through, but made it really nice. Woo! Got my Christmas playlist on. And I've still got my Christmas hat on, but like I said, I got too hot and bothered and now I've just got my Christmas t-shirt on with no cardigan. Can you hear the song? Proper Crimbo Selector. Does anyone remember that? <laughs> We've just found our stockings. My one's this one with the little fawn things on and then I got this one for Ben and then we've got oven gloves, they're all from Cat Kitchen and then we've got some that's a new Disney one and then these are like vintage Disney that my mum found these are all going on our main tree and some of these we just go for like classic gold, red and green but then I also have A kitschy tree which has all of these on it like unicorns oh my god look at it and magical rainbow baubles and then we have a white tree as well so this is all for our white tree <laughs> look at this that my mum found me how cute it hangs up and my little lego gingerbread house that we made last year oh my god it's so nice to put the base baubles on I just got a pack of like gold red and green plain ones all different sizes and we put them on first because all the rest don't really match they're doing colour and style but not like these ones so Ooh. so we're nearly finished this is what it currently looks like there's nothing on the top at the moment we haven't done that yet. 
but look how pretty. And these here, in this corner here and here, they're little fire guards that we got to keep Kitty away from the tree. And actually, we've had the tree up for a few days now so he can get used to it. And it's been really good. I think by the time he goes over to it, we have got enough time to like move him away from it before he like actually jumps into the tree. Because so I've got a lot of like expensive lovely baubles. And obviously like I said in the kitty story time video i never intended on having a cat and christmas is my favorite time of year so i'm not really willing to give it up so we've had to make some compromises and adaptations but i'm still keeping my lovely baubles and we're just gonna have to keep kitty away from the tree but yeah let me give you some close-ups of some of my favorite ornaments this is one of my all-time faves it's Beast from Beauty and the Beast in the bath. I just love his grumpy little face. <laughs> I think he's so funny and lovely. And it's such a lovely quality. Yeah, I just love that one. This is one of Ben's all-time favourite ones. <laughs> it makes me laugh every single time because when I bought it and I showed it to him, he literally just loved it and I wasn't expecting him to love it as much as he did. But it's because the gingerbread man looks so happy and it's just hilarious. So I love that one. Here's my lovely little Mary Poppins. She's hanging from her umbrella. I love her. We got this a couple of years ago now. She's so cute. Obviously I had to have my fave Winnie the Pooh on the tree. And I love this one because although it's a bauble and does hang, I like, like nestling it in the tree. Because they just look so cosy in there. Look how cute it is. Oh my god. This is one of my faves. These I'm absolutely obsessed with because they're actually vintage Disney baubles. Um, my mum found them in like an all year round Christmas shop. Like it's in Cornwall and it's just Christmas stuff all year round. Um, and they sometimes get vintage stuff in. And my mum found these and was like obviously I'd love them. So she got me them. And I just love them, they're so special. This one I absolutely love. I love like little gingerbread houses. Excuse me. Um, and it's really good quality. I'm not going to move it because it's really heavy. But yeah, this was from Accessorize last year or the year before. But it's such good quality and it's just stunning, I think. So those are some of my fave baubles. But yeah, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. Um, we're missing one box. We had everything up in Ben's mum's loft. So, yeah, we're definitely missing a box full because the angel we normally have at the top of the tree is missing. And we can't go without something on the top of the tree. So Ben's gone to get it. But, yeah, I'm already fucking knackered <laughs> doing this Christmas thing. It's fun but exhausting. Our reef is up. Look how pretty it is. Oh, it keeps focusing on the garden. Come on. There we go. Look how cute. This was from Paper Chase last year. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. And if you look, the deer, the fawn, is super glittery. Oh my god, I fucking love this thing. Love it. This, I am so fucking obsessed with. Oh my god. My mum got me this, I believe, in the sales last year, like after Christmas. And so I completely forgot I had it, and then, because obviously it wasn't out last Christmas. And then, yeah, I just found it, and oh my god, it's like actually like a plushie, like super soft. But oh, isn't it just stunning? And I've got my little Christmas plant here. And this little thing is another thing my mum bought me. She's got such good taste, especially in Christmas stuff. My little elf. So fucking cute. Got some decks up in the kitchen. My Merry Grinchmas stocking you would have seen from my Universal haul. And then this little cutie. I love that. So cute. I had to put a Christmas hat on my little flamingo light. <laughs> Our little Christmas Lego selection. This lot's fallen apart though and I have no idea how to put it back so... Ben's gonna have to do that. <laughs> Look at these little cuties. 
Gotta love a Disney Christmas. Look who's on our tree! <laughs> Just sat him at the top here. So cute. Our little angel's on top. <laughs> She's so jokes. <laughs> she looks like a little chicken. She's so cute. <laughs> The tree is finished! These are our little kitten guards to stop Kitty from these here from killing our tree. But look how pretty it is. <gasps> oh my god, I love it. Tune! sofa throws and cushions this is like my favorite thing of life every year i get so excited to see it so nice and plush so mark spencer's actually it's all from mark spencer's apart from this gray one this is from john lewis festive got the christmas bedding on feeling festive as fuck there's our little canopy and our fairy lights that i made I didn't obviously make the fairy lights, made the little canopy thing above the bed. But you've got this delightful, gorgeous blanket that is so fucking soft and the inside is all like this. So nice. That was from M&S. And then the bedding was from BHS and it's got that deer on it that I love. We've got the matching cushions. Let's see these. Got this one, it says Jolly Holiday. And this one with Santa on. And this one with Santa on, and then this teddy polar bear was, I believe it was ages ago, my boyfriend bought a watch from somewhere, and they said you could buy the teddy, and then the money would go to the children's hospital, so we did that. This little gingerbread man, uh, Ben, won me at like a Christmas fair. This is another one that Ben won me at Christmas Fair, Gingerbread Lady, who I'm obsessed with. This little guy, not too sure. Oh, yeah, he must have won me that as well, Winter Wonderland. So there you go, so they were all one, and then, you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. I just fucking love him, because as he is. Again, if you watched my Universal Studios haul, from Florida, you would have seen him before, but he is just fabulous. Look, do, 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 do. he's amazing. Love him. So yeah, my bedding is now festive as fuck, and I'm loving life. And it's time for bed because I'm absolutely knackered. So good night.
fun fact, my mum made these for me. They're so cute. He looks a bit weird, this one in the middle, but... <laughs> so that is everything I hope you've really enjoyed seven days of Jethmas this is something that I would love to keep doing every year every Christmas because I've just loved doing it for you because <laughs> I love everything Christmasy um, but yeah I really hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give this video a big thumbs up because this is the last installment I hope you all have the most amazing Christmas ever and a happy new year um, my next videos will be up on Tuesday the 27th will be a Florida vlog and then on Friday the 30th as usual will be a main channel video again but I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas day and Boxing Day and Christmas Eve and I hope you all just chill and eat lots of amazing fucking food and spend time with your loved ones and I hope it's just perfect for all of you I will see you again soon bye